What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. If you've been on the channel for a while, you might have noticed that popcorn has been a staple in a lot of my shredding diets. It's a great snack option, you get a lot of volume for not too many calories, popularized by Greg Doucette himself, and it's something that I've leaned on in the past to really help get me through those hungry nights. But after a while, popcorn, to me at least, got a little bland, it was harder to eat, not something I look forward to, not a lot of flavor. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you a little hack, a little technique to level up your popcorn game, all while keeping it anabolic. In today's video, we will be making anabolic chocolate coated popcorn. We're still getting all the regular dietary benefits of popcorn, except we're coating it with a smooth layer of chocolate. If you're at a point in your life where you'd rather go watch Captain Marvel than eat another bowl of popcorn and you just want the madness to end, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And for all my other diet and recipe hacks to help you get lean and build muscle, don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description. Every recipe from every video on this channel broken down and easy to use guide that fist right in your pocket. I'm telling you, look me in the eye right here and don't look away. You follow what's in this, you read it, and you do what I tell you to do in this book, you're gonna see results no matter what. All right, baby, if you guys are ready to get their epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now starting this recipe off, we need to make sure we have the right popcorn brand, and I'm gonna show you real quick what the best one is. What you need to do is get you a box of Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop Popcorn. Out of all the microwave brands I've looked at, this is by far the best one. It's got the lowest calories, it's gonna work the best for our diet. All we're gonna do is pull a bag out, remove it from the plastic, and then toss it in the microwave and pop it for like three minutes, or maybe it's two and a half, maybe it's three and a half, depending on your microwave. Just listen to it closely. Once the pops become way less frequent, it should be done, and boom. And after just a few minutes, our bag of popcorn is done. But for now, we're just gonna set it off to the side. We're gonna take a large mixing bowl with plenty of room. We're gonna set it on our food scale. What we're gonna start with is 45 grams of Hershey's Zero Sugar Chocolate Syrup. This is gonna give us a nice base for our chocolate flavor. And then the next thing we're gonna add is 15 grams of a zero calorie liquid sweetener. It's gonna help us thin out this chocolate and make sure we have enough volume to coat the entire batch of popcorn. And then once we got those in here, we're gonna add 31 grams of a chocolate whey protein powder. It's gonna help us add even more protein to this while simultaneously ramping up the level of chocolate. And the final thing we're gonna add is just 30 grams of unsweetened almond milk. Make sure you watch that scale and you get that 30 gram mark perfectly because if you go over, it can make this whole thing really sloppy. And now that we got everything down in here, just take a spoon and mix everything together until we're left with a thick chocolate coating. And make sure you take your time with this and really get everything mixed together. And then once we got our chocolate sauce mixed up, all we're gonna do is pour our popcorn down inside and then now comes the fun part. What I like to do is use a spoon, kind of go underneath and start just flipping this popcorn around in our chocolate sauce. It might seem like there's not enough sauce down in here to cover all these up, but I'm telling you, you sit here and you just do this for a couple minutes, we're gonna end up with a batch of popcorn that is fully coated in chocolate. And after working it for a couple minutes, you can see our popcorn is basically fully coated in our chocolate. This is about how you want it. And you might notice that the more you mix it and get it coated, it does shrink a little bit, but keep in mind that is totally normal. And now that we've reached the point where it's fully coated, what we wanna do is grab a baking sheet and lay a piece of parchment paper down on it and then spoon our popcorn right on top. And all I'm gonna do now is use my spoon and spread this out into one layer on our pan. And keep in mind too, at this point, you can literally eat the popcorn and you'll be fine. But the problem is it'll be pretty messy on your hands. So this next step goes a long way on drying it out just a little bit and making it way easier to eat. And then once we got it all spread out, what I like to do is just take some zero calorie sweetener and sprinkle it lightly on top of the popcorn. It's gonna give it a nice little sweet kick. And then all we wanna do at this point is pop this in the oven at 250 degrees for anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Really, as soon as it dries up, you're gonna be fine, but oven strengths can vary. So I recommend starting at five minutes, testing it out. If it needs a couple more, do what you gotta do. <laughs> And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, when I return, we're gonna have chocolate candy popcorn. Let's go. Thank you. 
And boom, ladies and gentlemen, after a short trip in the oven, our chocolate anabolic candy popcorn turned out fantastic. This right here was only about half the recipe because I needed it to fit in this small little bowl for presentation purposes, which if I was grading myself, I'd give me an A+. But besides the point, with this recipe, we were able to take Smart Pop popcorn, one of the most treasured dietary tools in our arsenal, and add an anabolic chocolate sauce to it and overall level it up. The only problem with using a bowl like this instead of a paper one is that you can't cut a hole in the bottom and take it to the movies with you. If you guys made it this far into the video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Helps me out more than you know. Any comment that you leave down below helps the algorithm and also helps the channel. So I appreciate that a ton. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And guys, before I get any hungrier, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feet bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we go. Before I try this though, I need to let you guys know about a certain delicacy, one that you might not be aware of, and that is the protein bar delicacy, the Anabar. I'm telling y'all, you give this a shot, it's gonna be the best tasting protein bar you've ever had. If you don't like the chalky, the chewy, the gag-inducing bars that you're finding at the store, gas station, wherever, then you wanna give this a shot, man. Finalbossformance.com, code RJF10, saves you 10%, and if you're wondering, with my recommendation, what flavor you should start with, I honestly believe it's the white chocolate fruity cereal crunch. If you like fruity pebbles, do this one if you like Oreos go with the cookies and cream either one gonna be a showstopper It's gonna knock your socks off it's gonna put your girl in the mood. All right, let's get down to business Let me just grab a little bit of popcorn right here. Let me show you what we're working with man We got that chocolate coated smart pop ain't she a beauty y'all ready three two one let go Mm. Let me tell y'all what I love about this recipe right here. Although we added the chocolate to the outside of it, it is not a sickly sweet or overwhelming chocolate flavor. It's there, but it's more so on the back end. It's not overwhelming. You still got the popcorn there, but that chocolate doesn't hit you till the latter half. If you're worried about it having an overwhelming protein taste, you literally can't even taste it. And after you put it in the oven and let it dry out a little bit, you're left with popcorn that almost has a different texture. It's a little softer, it's a little more chewy, but in my opinion, it's better that way. Mm, holy cow. And to be completely honest with you, it feels less like you're eating popcorn and more like you're eating candy. Anabolic candy, of course. Candy that's got protein. We didn't add any sugar to this. It's not gonna kick in a binge craving. It's gonna fill you up. It's loaded with fiber. It's got volume to it. It's gonna take a while to eat. Those are all the hallmarks of a great recipe while you're dieting. I tried a bunch of different variations with this one. And what I finally settled on with this right here, I think is the perfect mix. It's not overwhelming. It's not sickly sweet where you eat half of it and you're like, oh, I don't want any more. It's literally balanced out perfectly. You gotta give this one a try, especially if regular popcorn is getting boring and if you do that i know you're gonna love it and it's gonna help you get that protein in Mm. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it for the entire batch of chocolate coated popcorn, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 417 calories, five grams of fat, 32 grams of protein, 61 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber. So basically what we did was took the regular popcorn, we were able to add protein and delicious flavor to it. So it now contains 32 grams of protein. We still get that fiber. We still keep it low in fat and all in all, it's a win-win. Keep in mind too, you can make this in advance, put it in Ziploc baggies, put it in the fridge and take it with you while you're out and about. This this is versatile here. You can make this. It'll still be good for about four to five days in the fridge. You can meal prep with this. You can make it before date night. You can feed it to your dog. There's a lot of versatility here. Actually, don't feed it to your dog. They don't do well with chocolate or so I've heard. All right, folks, if I try to eat this entire thing sitting here, I'm going to burn my camera battery out. So we're going to do one more big bite. We'll do that right there. Check it out. And here we go. Guys, the overall flavor, the ease of assembly, convenience factor, macros, everything. I gotta give this one a 10 out of freaking 10. I know if you take the time to make it, you're gonna love it. It's easy, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And like I said, if you're getting tired of like the same old boring popcorn, you've been doing it for four weeks, eight weeks, you're like, man, I cannot stomach another bag of this. And try doing this simple little hack. Not only are you gonna get your protein up, which gonna add a ton of flavor, it's gonna make your whole diet more fun and more exciting. And if you have my cookbook, you already know it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there. All the ingredients, which you gotta weigh out the macros, the calories, everything. Like I always preach, you get this book and you follow what's inside of it, you're gonna see results no matter what. If you follow what I say to follow in here, you're gonna get results. It's not the magic pill. It's not the secret surgery that you gotta get. It's none of that, man. It's literally information. And it's so easy that if you follow it, the results happen. So link in my description, check it out. I know if you do, you won't regret it. Thank you guys as always for checking out the channel. Thumbs up button, you already know. Comment below what you wanna see me make. By the way, there's a guy that keeps commenting anabolic sushi and I see your comment, bud. Keep doing it. I'm gonna try it out. I should order some stuff to make my own homemade sushi rolls. But in the, keep commenting it, because you commented for the last 55 videos, and I'm finally getting around to it because of your insistent nagging. But hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. Appreciate you, homie. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, bam, bam. We out, baby. I don't need another bite of that. Right there. Mm. Love it.